hey, um, Post Institute, Facebook community and public community, I'm not sure who all actually um, sees this video because it's the first time I've ever done a Facebook Live video, but Christy asked me to come on and answer a question uh, from our Post Institute network. And so that's what I'm doing. This is my, my first video, and I hope to be able to do some more for you guys. But one of the questions that was asked was, what does healing actually look like? And it's actually an excellent question. Um, most parents and, and professionals, um, I feel like they have, they have ideas about what healing is supposed to look like, but it is important for us to understand that healing is a journey. It is not a quick fix. But to give you something to kind of wrap your, your heart around, um, I used to teach it and still do teach a concept called the three emotional pathways where people are, we express our emotions through three different pathways, attitudes, feelings, and behaviors. Well, to make this really simple for you, um, rolling eyes, huffing, puffing, you know, those are, those are attitudes, uh, yelling, screaming, those are feelings. Behaviors are the acting out things that children do, um, acting out things that we, even we as adults do. And so if you think about children who've experienced trauma, they are a lot of times trapped at the level of behaviors, uh, behaviors and feelings. And the significance there is that we all express through attitudes, feelings, and behaviors because that's how we transition from one moment to the next. But in our society, we don't we don't look at um, attitudes as a as a transition effort. We don't look at uh, the expression of feelings as a transition effort. So what happens instead is that we suppress attitudes and we suppress feelings and then we get trapped in behaviors. Well, when you've been conditioned for behaviors for long periods of time, then you don't have any other any other mechanisms for expressing and working through a transition point. So now how does that tie into healing? Well, for an example, when we had our group homes with our adolescent children, we found that on average that we could bring those children um, from a period of three to six months in placement, we could bring them from purely behavior acting out and, and pure, purely behavioral expression to moving them up to feeling expression. And then after about a six month period of time, we could move them from a, a feeling expression to a feeling and attitudinal expression. And so usually it would take a, a good one year process of moving them strictly from behaviors up to attitudes and feelings. Well, when you think about healing and exactly what healing is, healing is a prolonged state of regulation. It is the ability for the brain to experience a prolonged state of regulation with, with effective repair of dysregulated states and strengthening of relationship. So healing is not necessarily indicated by a lack of behaviors, but it's the, the repair of the stress after a behavior has occurred. But if you've spent enough time with a child and, and you are uh, patient and you're loving and you're understanding, you're accepting, and th these are all the things that I really want parents to focus on, especially when it comes to trauma and especially as we start talking more, more about being trauma informed is that you're, when you're looking at a child with a trauma history, your, your goal is not to focus on their behaviors. In fact, the more you find yourself focused on their behaviors, that is actually indicative of the more stress and threat that you're experiencing. And I'll expand on this at a different time, and, but I just want to try to keep this one short. So to answer the question of the parent, what does healing look like? When your child and make this very behavioral based for you. When if you if you focus on very specific behaviors that your child may be, um, I've got a little dog barking there, so I'm gonna back up. Um, if you focus on very specific behaviors that your child may be going through, then if you will just measure those behaviors, measure the the reduction of those behaviors. Um, not so much like a behavior modification chart, but more like just just my child's ability to maintain a regulated state 
while, while not succumbing to those specific behaviors. So if you, can, if you can start to really focus not on the behavior, but the, the length of time, the duration in which the behavior reduces, then you know that you're on the right track with your child. So it's not, a lot of people like to focus on the, like the behavior modification um, angle of it. And I don't like to focus on that. I like to focus on the length of time a child may be able to go without demonstrating that behavior. So for, 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 so for you to wrap your brain around this, healing could very easily look like, if I've got these specific negative behaviors that my children are demonstrating, and I'm able to say, so this week my child behaved and, and, and acted out these specific behaviors this number of times. By week two, week three, week four, if you're noticing a reduction in those specific negative behaviors, then you're on, your, then you're on the right track. Because children act out because they are stressed out. Your child is only acting out in a negative way because he or she is stressed out. So the longer uh, period of time you can create regulation for your child, the longer period of time they're going to go between their their dysregulated states and their, their negative acting out. So just to, to, again, kind of summarize what I'm saying here is that you know you're on a healing journey when you're with your child as their negative behaviors, as there continues to be an increasing a duration of time between when they have the negative behaviors and when they don't. Because what's happening there is not that you're controlling or suppressing the behavior, but that you're actually seeing a prolonged, uh, a gaining state within their brain of being able to hold regulation for a longer period of time. They're able to actually um, hang on to hang on to the, the the regulated the calm state instead of the stress, which then is what helps them reduce the behavior. So, I hope this gives you an idea, um, kind of what goes into healing. But again, I want to say healing is a journey; it is not an outcome. Don't attach behaviors to healing. Attach the duration of your child's happiness. Attach the ability of your child to go from, you know, waking up at five minutes in the morning and then being completely stressed out and hyperactive, aggressive, or defiant to being able to go 10 minutes in the morning or 15 minutes in the morning. So, or, or your child being able to go all day without having any behavior issues, and then it comes to the night and they have a big explosion. Well, what happens when your child is able to go all day, it comes to the night and the explosion goes from 15 minutes to five minutes? See, then you know you're on the right track because their brain is catching up. Their brain is starting to, to reroute some of those old pathways and, and um, they can make some different decisions that way. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm going to try to come back on again tomorrow. We got lots of questions that came in when Christy posted it to the, to the Post Institute following. So I'm going to try to come on tomorrow and, and answer another question. And we've got a trauma-informed, it's going to be a four-week trauma-informed um, webinar that I'm going to be doing. Starting, actually, starting this Saturday. It's going to be live um, two hours every Saturday for four weeks. Um, so if you want more information on that, just hit Christy up um, here on the Face Institute, the Post Institute Facebook page, and she'll get you more information. But I'm really, looking, really excited to that. Been a, a long time since I've been able to interact with my with my tribe, and I'm um, looking forward to sharing and and having you all share with me some of the things that you've been going through, and uh, hoping that we can create some some love and some healing and some breakthroughs. Okay, so God bless all of you, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.